Super Bowl ads bring excitement. We all have expectations on what we expect from the ads, whether they're gonna be funny, whether they're gonna emotionally connect and move us. This last week, we've been testing the Super Bowl teasers and the ads that have early released using EEG, eye tracking, and interviews. And we've learned a few things. One, connecting to every single consumer is impossible. We uniquely are wired to react to things in a different way. So as we've brought consumers in, some have laughed while others have just stared as they've watched an ad. The laughter, of course, is the easiest to detect and the easiest way to light up the brain. Basically what you have to do is you have to break through the clutter of all of that content. Those that did that well triggered the mirror neuron. The mirror neuron is kind of like the monkey see, monkey do. If I see you laugh, our brains are gonna laugh back. Now physically, several of our consumers laughed. In fact, belly laughed as they watched some of the content. One example is the Pepsi teaser with Steve Carell. Steve is reading the script that he's gonna do for the Super Bowl ads. He begins to laugh. His laughter evokes laughter in those that are watching. A second example of that is the Budweiser ad. Budweiser uses their classic dog, Clydesdale, and this year have married that with green solar energy. What makes this ad connect is they're also using a Bob Dylan song. Immediately, music can be one of the ways that we connect to an ad. Our brains light up if we are familiar with it. The third example is with Doritos. It connects two generations. Now, if I'm sitting there watching the ad and I'm, say, 14 years old, I'm looking at a group, a boy band, I have no idea who they are. On the flip side of that, maybe the dad or the mom is in and they're looking at the other character in the teaser. In this case, they have no idea who that rapper is. The Backstreet Boys and Chance the Rapper essentially bring in together two generations. A fourth example is Coca-Cola. They're using an animated ad with a message around togetherness. This very calm, soothing message of togetherness fundamentally changes the brains of consumers as they're watching that particular ad. What we see is if you go from laughing at a previous ad to a calm video like the Coca-Cola ad, is the brain completely relaxes. The brain needs a break. So continuous laughter for the entire Super Bowl would be a bit unrealistic. So our challenge to you as you watch the Super Bowl ads is to see what connects to you and those around you. What makes you laugh? What makes you emotionally connect? Enjoy Super Bowl Sunday and stay tuned for the results of our Super Bowl study.